welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you two exceptions to the off bow principle. And these are exceptions that every chemistry student is expected to know. The first is chromium. So let's go ahead and write out the orbital diagram. So here's the orbital diagram for chromium. We have 24 electrons. And the reason this is an exception is because it is highly unstable to have an empty d orbital. It is very unstable to have only one empty orbital in the d sublevel. So instead, what's going to happen is one electron from 4s is actually going to move up into the 3d sublevel. And again, the reason is because it's very unstable for 3d to have an empty orbital. It's more stable for 4s to have one electron and 3d to have one electron in every orbital. So instead, what this is going to look like, we will have 4s1 and 3d5. So if we were to write out the electron configuration, we would have 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s1, 3d5, because it is very unstable for d to be left with an empty orbital. So we move one electron from 4s into 3d. Copper is very similar. Let's look at the orbital diagram for copper. So here's the electron configuration for copper. You can see we have almost a fully filled 3d sublevel, but we have one electron here that is unpaired, one unpaired electron when every other 3d orbital is paired. So this is also highly unstable and the same thing is going to happen. We're going to take one electron from 4s and move it over into the 3d orbital. So what this will look like is again, we will have 4s1, but now we're going to have 3d10. So if we were to write out the electron configuration, we would have 4s1, 3d10, instead of 4s2, 3d9. We're not going to have a 3d4 or a 3d9 because that is highly unstable. So we are going to take one electron from 4s and move it into the 3d sub level. And these are exceptions that you are expected to know. So if you were ever asked to write for the electron configuration for copper, this is what you need to write. If you were to write 4s2, 3d9, that would be counted incorrect because that is an unstable electron configuration. I hope this was helpful. If you're still struggling with electron configurations, make sure and check out my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by.